how do the stingrays know where to go? That's the question that I'm really trying to answer. And that's the question that they bring up in Finding Dory. It really is. So if you remember at the beginning of the movie, they go on the field trip to the stingray migration. It's this big, majestic event. All these stingrays are going in. And one of the, uh, one of the students raises his, his flipper or his fin or whatever it was. He says, how do the stingrays know where to go? And the teacher says, well, you know, it's just instinct. It feels right. Well, there's a little more to it than that. And the hypothesis that we're working on is that we think that they're using magnetoreception. But what is magnetoreception but the ability to detect the Earth's magnetic field and use that as a mechanism to navigate from one spot to another, from point A to point B? Well, if you're going to navigate between two specific locations, you need two things. You need a map and a compass. So a map gives you a sense of your location with respect to your goal, and a compass gives you a sense of direction. And you can get that information from the Earth's magnetic field. But how in the world do we test this? Because we don't have any natural ability to detect magnetic fields, no matter what anybody else says. But we can use behavioral conditioning to detect or to uh, demonstrate what sorts of stimuli animals can detect. So with behavioral conditioning, you're probably all familiar with it with Pavlov. Remember Pavlov, the Pavlov was able to train dogs to associate a bell, the ringing of a bell, with a food reward. We can do the same thing with stingrays. So we can train them to associate a change in a magnetic field with a food reward or some other sort of stimulus. And what I've been able to do in the lab is uh, train these stingrays to associate a change in the, magnetic, the polarity of a magnetic field. So what's the polarity? Remember, the Earth's magnetic field has a north and a south pole. That's polarity. So if we switch that and feed them some food, eventually at some point they learn to anticipate food is coming every time I switch the magnetic field. What that tells me is that they can use the Earth's magnetic field to get a sense of direction, just like how our compass operates. Likewise, the Earth's magnetic field changes predictably with latitude. So it's strong at the poles, it's relatively weak at the equator, and the angle of that field with respect to the surface of the Earth changes predictably with latitude. And if you're able to pick up on those cues, you can get a sense of where you are on the surface of the Earth. The stingrays can do that too. So this is great. I mean, they, they're magnetoreceptive. We think that this is what they're using to find their way back home. Why is this important? Well, research like this uh, on the basic sensory biology of animals is important because as humans, we're dominant because we can modify the environment. And by modifying the environment, we can have deleterious effects on other species. So anthropogenic sources of electromagnetic fields could potentially harm and disrupt uh, electrosensitive or, and magnetosensitive species, such as stingrays. And it's by doing this sort of research, we can find out if some of the things that we're doing are actually inhibiting or preventing the stingrays from finding their way back home. Thanks.